Maniac. Is it going to be a win or a bin? Let's have a quick read through of the description on Steam. Ever just tired of it all? Ready for a change? Want to bet it all on sheer mayhem and destruction? In comes Maniac, a rogue light crime action game in which the world goes against you and your insanity creates chaos. And boy, yes it does. So what is this game then? Well, I think the first thing that we're all going to relate to straight away as soon as we see this is the original GTA's top down, but obviously much more modern. And actually, it's much more violent. This is the game that GTA should have been because i remember when i had gta as a child it was deemed as the most violent game ever and actually i didn't think it was that bad but this tops it and this is what you should have expected but of course obviously graphics and stuff have come a long way since so fair enough but yeah you steal cars and you kill people you can run them over shoot them punch them to death and eventually just like uh, gta the wanted levels go up this goes to astronomical levels it starts off just by having these doctors want to come and take you away because you're obviously a psychopath and it increases to the police and the army and the FBI and all sorts of random things. You've got the Air Force eventually after you in stealth jet fighters, Chinook helicopters, and you end up with UFOs floating around in futuristic vehicles that probably haven't even been invented yet coming to try and get you and stop you. Uh, the game builds everything into it so you start off uh, certainly there's a build-up sorry uh, you start off with very little in terms of technology or extra things so as you go through you earn money so you'll likely fail the first few times and then you have to with the money you have earned you can buy things like armor improvements to the vehicle improvements to your aiming that kind of thing you, you get where i'm coming from so it accumulates and you get stronger on each attempt with the theory that you eventually get to the end when a big nuclear holocaust happens didn't actually make it in the end but you get the gist of it and you can upgrade your weapons perks and so on and so on to try and make it easier for you as you keep failing although you start off with uh, one character a drunken santa which is hilarious to players by the way uh, it, with their own perks all these characters you have to unlock them by doing certain things so i've only played with the drunk santa but i'm sure they're all very good fun now i will say that i I haven't come across a game where you are allowed to kill and actively encouraged to kill babies and children. Now, this, yeah, it's going to be a bit sensitive, I think. Now, for me, I realise the difference between a game and reality. Obviously, it's not going to be the same for everybody, so there might be a few bad words about this game when it eventually gets released. It's out later uh, this month of March 2024 but just be warned if you are sensitive of those sort of things this is really not going to be your sort of thing okay so I'm not going to get caught up on the controversy that this is potentially going to cause so let's just move into the things that I do like and I don't like as usual okay so the game looks absolutely brilliant top down I love the way it looks it's got fantastic textures the scenery is destructive depending on the vehicle you're in a big truck can plow through certain things small car can't and will likely damage you it's got great physics uh, you can get punctures it handles it all really well the driving styles fun you can shoot from your car handbrake turns so overall just the looks and the feel of the game is fine I played it on a keyboard would work just as well if not maybe better on a controller perhaps so yeah feel free it's customizable as well the game itself is very tricky because as i said at the beginning you start off with very little in the way of buffs so you go through building that up after each failure uh, with the money you've earned so it's tricky but it feels achievable you have 20 minutes to get to the end without dying and there is apparently a nuclear holocaust during the game um, the bit that helps you keep going. So although it's tricky, you can you should be always going for these targets. So every time, or the whole time, you have a target. So he's either 100 meters away, 200 meters away, and you effectively have to drive to these points every time. You get a buff just for this turn only. So something like uh, a health kick, uh, an added weapon, uh, a little bit of armor to your car. But these ones are only temporary in the game. But of course, as I say, after each failure, you can have something permanent. But this is what makes it good because it's tricky, but it feels achievable because you can add things to yourself during a game and between games. It is a really good mixture of things that you can have as well. The weaponry, there's loads of different things, things that explode, things that just launch bullets at millions of miles an hour, just loads and loads of things that you, you can improve on here. So plenty of things to keep you interested in, in building up. Okay, things that I don't like. Well, 
I felt a little bit hard done by two or three times. Now, I got to about a minute of the end, and it just... I, I, you have to get out of your car, because you, your cars will eventually get too damaged, and they will explode. You have to get out of them. Now, come the end of the game, you've got probably hundreds of vehicles, of like tanks, army, aircraft, all coming after you. And it's you have to stay in your car, basically. The longer you're in your car, the safer you are, because you can't get injured. As soon as you step out of your car, you're going to get pummeled. So really the best thing you can do is stay in your car here. And the best armor, the better, of course. Like, eventually you can steal a tank. Great. But the timing was perhaps so bad because I had to get out of my tank or whatever it was. And then I'd just get shot with a minute or two to spare. So I was feeling like, ah, oh, this is... I know the game, as I say, feels achievable. But those moments, I just felt really frustrated and... I just want to bang, bang my fists on the table. I appreciate that was probably just down to my own personal ability, but um, at the time of playing, it was a negative, trust me. I also found that when the game map gets so busy, because it's a really bustling world, lots of cars, lots of pedestrians, lots of various things going on, and of course, lots of people coming after you, you do have a gun sight that you can use, uh, which is obviously your aim, and as the map gets busier and busier, and your eyes are darting all over the screen, trying to keep a track where you're going, what's going on around you, you lose track of the, the sight, and I think it just eventually blurs in with so much activity going on. Now, I wouldn't want to reduce the amount of activity because that's obviously important. It's part of the challenge. And again, this might even just be me. So maybe I'm clinging on to the not so goods about this game because it is very good. Uh, but I just found it very hard to see where I was aiming sometimes. And um, perhaps that is part of my downfall here. So overall, it's probably the most violent game I've ever played. I don't really play shooting games to be honest, I've never been great at them, but I've seen people play them, I've seen videos of other people playing them, like first person shooters, you know, and yeah, of course, lots of those are violent and gory and contain decapitations and whatever, but as I said at the beginning, this one contains violence against groups of people, which you wouldn't expect to see and there's a lot of blood in this, the blood will stain your car, the blood will stain the streets, um, yeah, it's probably up there i would say for brutality but i like it you've got to be able to differentiate between the two and it's just a little bit of fun to play this you know you're not going to sit here for hours and eventually it just knackers your arms out and wrists out and fingers out to be honest but um yeah this is this is good this is a very good game but i would imagine perhaps not for everybody